A federal jury in Missouri on Tuesday found that the National Association of Realtors liable for artificially inflating commissions and awarded plaintiffs $1.8 billion in damages. It's $1.78 billion in damages. It's not actually correct. It's five point three. billion. Case led by attorney Michael Ketchmark. Michael Ketchmark. Michael Ketchmark. Michael Ketchmark. Michael Ketchmark. Representing 500,000 homeowners in Missouri. The buyer's agent doesn't represent the seller. The buyer's agent represents represents the buyer. Name another product in our country that if you go to sell it, you have to pay for the buyer's commission. The narrative out there, the Wall Street Journal had an article where they referred to NAR as a cartel. It is a cartel. It's a cartel it is that is not the a cartel. The, the minute that that verdict was, came in, we filed the lawsuit. Ketchmark just filed the mother of all lawsuits. $600 billion in potential damages. Against the National Association of Realtors and these other large corporate real estate companies. companies Compass, EXP, Redfin, Howard Hanna Real Estate, United Real Estate, mm -hmm. Douglas Elliman, and Weicker Realtors. To bring the same relief nationwide. NER's phones are ringing off the hook saying, settle this stuff. The Gibson lawsuit. The mother of all commission lawsuits. Michael Ketchmark just beat the National Association of Realtors and some of the biggest brokerages in the nation. A Missouri jury awarded his clients a $1.8 billion verdict in the Sitzer Burnett case. Under antitrust provisions, that amount could be three times as much. That's $5.4 billion. To fight Ketchmark in the appeal, Keller Williams just hired the former US Solicitor General, Paul D. Clement. Clement has argued over 100 cases in the US Supreme Court, including the impeachment of Bill Clinton. The National Association of Realtors is not holding back either. NAR has hired former US Solicitor General Gregory G. Garr. Garr is currently a partner at Latham and Watkins. NAR and Keller Williams have a reason to bring in such heavyweight lawyers. Ketchmark. They're pulling the commissions out of the pockets of local real estate companies and local realtors. And the men and women who are in real estate, they're wonderful people. They care about their clients. We're trying to return control to them and take the control away from Wall Street, take the control away from these national associations. And, and this is going to be a wonderful thing for those folks. But Ketchmark just upped the stakes. He hit NAR with a $200 billion lawsuit. Trebled, that's $600 billion. Gibson v. NAR. This video is brought to you by Hoseo, America's most advanced home buying and selling platform. Americans across the nation are saving on commissions with Hoseo.com. You can too. Check out Hoseo.com on the web or the Hoseo mobile app. Gibson versus NAR. Named after the lead plaintiff, Don Gibson, this suit is almost the exact copy of Sitzer Burnett. The issue remains the same. Plaintiffs allege antitrust violations and inflated broker commissions, but there is one key difference. While Sitzer Burnett covered Missouri, Illinois, and Kansas, Ketchmark's new lawsuit covers the entire nation. The plaintiffs. It all starts with Don Gibson the lead plaintiff in this battle. He sold his Missouri home in June 2021 for $525,000. Gibson listed the property on the Columbia Board of Realtors, MLS, through Weikert Realtors. Gibson paid Weikert 6%, but under the mandatory offer of commission, Weikert split that commission with the buyer agent. The buyer was represented by an agent affiliated with House of Brokers Realty Inc. That agent represented the buyer's interest, not Gibson's. But Gibson had to pay that agent $15,750. Gibson didn't like it, so he sued and hired Ketchmark. And now Ketchmark has two more plaintiffs on this case with similar stories. Lauren Chris sold her home in Kansas City through Compass. She paid Compass 
$380, but that's not all she paid. She also had to pay $7,380 to a buyer agent from Keller Williams who worked against her in the transaction. John Maynard is the third plaintiff. Maynard listed his Kansas City home for sale through Compass. He paid over $15,000 to Compass, but he also had to pay $15,360 to a buyer agent from Platinum Realty. The defendants engaged in unlawful conduct and conspiracy, which forced plaintiffs to pay the buyer's side brokers, despite the buyer agents working against their interests. All three home sellers are represented by Michael Ketchmark. His co-counsels include ace antitrust litigators from Williams Dirks Damperen LLC and Bolware Law LLC law firms. But what makes this bombshell lawsuit a nuclear bomb is that Ketchmark has filed for class action certification. The class action will include all home sellers across the United States who sold their home and paid any buyer agent commission between October 31st, 2019 and October 31st, 2023. The defendants. The National Association of Realtors, NAR, is back in the defendancy along with industry giants. Compass EXP, Redfin, Weikert, United Real Estates, Howard Hanna, and Douglas Elliman. The lawsuit also includes unnamed co-conspirators, mostly local realtor organizations and real estate brokers. NAR's argument for its broker compensation rule remains steadfast. They denied any conspiracy to jack up commission rates during the Sitza Burnett trial. They even bought out the NAR handbook, which says listing agents are free to decide the compensation offered to the buyer's agent. However, the jury didn't buy their story. We must wait and watch for NAR's defense in the Gibson suit, but it's most likely they will stick to their guns. The judge? Guess who's the judge in the Gibson case? It's Judge Bo. Yes, the same judge who presided over the Sitza Burnett case. A Southwest Missouri State University alum began his law career as a clerk in 99. In 2014, President Obama nominated him to be a U.S. District Judge in the Western District of Missouri and has held the federal position ever since. In the Sitzer Burnett v. Nar case, Judge Bo stayed cool, handling rival lawyers and mistrial requests. Expect the same temperament in the upcoming Gibson suit. The allegations. NAR's mandatory offer of compensation rule is the centerpiece of the Gibson Commission lawsuit. The plaintiffs allege that the defendants conspired by requiring home sellers to pay the buyer broker. This action violates the federal antitrust law. Agents used steering to manipulate homeowners into accepting higher or stabilized rates. The defendants and their co-conspirators were dead set on not letting 6% commissions go away in the United States. NAR and its co-defendants conspired to fix commission rates by controlling the MLS. According to the plaintiffs, if the compensation rule did not exist, the buyer's agent would be paid by their own clients. This could increase competition among buyer agents and lower commission rates, which could ultimately lead to lower home prices. The plaintiffs demand? First up, the plaintiffs want a class certification. They have also demanded a jury trial and permanent injunction against the defenders. Just like the Sitzer Burnett case, the plaintiffs want to limit the defendants from requiring sellers to pay the buyer broker, continuing to restrict competition among buyer brokers, and engaging in any unlawful activities. The, the plaintiffs also want money to cover the costs of filing a class action lawsuit and appointing attorneys. Over 16 million homes have been sold nationwide since 2019. Millions of home sellers will be compensated if the plaintiffs win this class action lawsuit. And that's why the Gibson versus NAR lawsuit has a $600 billion price tag. What's next? 
The Gibson v Nasu was accepted by a district court on October 31st, 2023. Na will most likely file for an appeal if the plaintiffs win the trial, just like they plan to in the Sitzer Burnett verdict. Na spokesperson Mantel Williams in an email to Inman commented, we are currently reviewing the new filing and it appears to be a copycat lawsuit. Williams continued to support the existing commission structure. He said, it gives the greatest number of buyers a chance to afford a home and professional representation. Do you agree with his statement? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you haven't watched our video on the $1.8 billion Sitzer Burnett lawsuit, watch it here. Let's get scratching.